Okay, so, you know, one of the biggest ways we can heal and that is necessary is we have to detach from this fucking 3D shit show hell realm. And one of the ways we do, we got to get rid of our vices, okay? You can call them copes. You can call them um, whatever you want. Uh, but a vice, again, is specifically the indulgence of impure or degrading appetites or passions. Okay? Purity. So, indulgence and in impure. Okay? F pure is freedom from admixture with extraneous or superfluous matter. So, pure is something that has nothing added to it. No extra no more than necessary things added to it. Degrading would be below you. So if we're a whole complete soul that is loving, empathetic, and, um, and able to connect with other souls, why would we degrade ourselves with these appetites and passions? Okay, so what are these appetites? Our only appetite and passion should right now should be for healing humanity. Because right now we are living in, and not just right now, guys, it's been like this since I was a kid. We are living in an extremely toxic, trauma-filled environment. If you are having kids, we are having kids. We are bringing slaves into a slavery system. The only passion we should all have as a human right now is trying to figure out how we were enslaved and how to get out of this enslavement and take our power back. That is it. We should not be concentrating on superfluous things, superfluous appetites and passions, impure appetites and passions, such as the controller's narrative, whether it be through any type of media, whether it be through their government-controlled indoctrination centers, their government-controlled news stations, their government-controlled entertainment, all entertainment is government. Guys, these guys are all working hand in hand together to push these agendas, to make you feel inferior, to make you feel afraid, to make you feel like you need something more than yourself. You do not. We have. We were born into this world with everything we need. We were just severely abused and traumatized as soon as we were born by our parents who were acted as agents of the state to ensure that we complied and were programmed with all the necessary programs to operate in a slavery system. That is as simple as that, guys. So what do we have to do to start healing? One of the major things is we start, we need to start letting go of our vices, guys. I was a severe alcoholic. That was one of the first things I had to let go of for my healing was my alcohol. It was like a baby bottle for me. Um, so as neurodivergence, we we will do these weird things. We usually have bad, you know, we're, we're very badly addicted usually because that is how we cope with being in an extremely toxic filled environment with all these zombies who want us to comply with these um Abusive orders, I guess you could say. Abusive agendas, abusive orders, however you want to say it. Um, but yes, guys, so we got to give up our vice. We want to be virtuous. The reason we want to have virtue is because that is naturally how we can, we are. We are virtuous, guys. We are empathetic. We are loving and we are whole. We are knowledgeable. We didn't need to be taught how to eat and sleep. We didn't need to be taught about fake space. We didn't need to be taught about fake dinosaurs. We didn't need to go to 13 years of fucking sitting eight hours in a fucking classroom for a teacher, a teacher to tell us how to add one plus one. We didn't need all this shit. It is to dumb us down. It is to make our brains stop thinking. They are not challenging us. They are dumbing us down on purpose. It is all part of a plan. So how do we start pulling away? We get the faculties of our mind back, right? Get the faculty. We've been going over that, how to do it. We get the, we reclaim the faculties of our mind. We start using those, our senses and trusting in ourselves, right? And then we gain our knowledge, right? And we become wise. Well, at the same time, as we're doing that, guys, we want to start letting go of all of our vices. We want to start letting go of all these indulgences into impure or degrading appetites or passions that this fucking 3D hell realm it offers us on a daily basis. Guys, we all know when you do 
or take or ingest something for the first time, you will never feel like you did the first time you did it. That feeling will never be the same. So you will chase that feeling for the rest of your life. That is an addiction. Those are things we need to give up, whether it be their processed food, whether it be their um, thinking that the only way to heal is to go to the doctor, thinking that we're thinking wrong because we're not thinking like everybody else, um, you know, trying to conform to group think, thinking that, oh, maybe, maybe these Christians are right. Maybe I need a savior. Maybe there is a heaven and a hell and a Jesus and a fucking Satan and all this shit. Guys, all that shit, you know, the Jesus and all these entities are fucking real, guys. All of them. All of these entities are real because we've made them real, most likely. Who the fuck knows? But all these entities are real. All this AI shit is real. But you have to remember, we are the most powerful motherfuckers on earth, dude. I was watching this goddamn video of these Catholic cock-sucking priests the other day in all these fucking street preachers, fucking faggot-ass, hypocritical fucking street preachers running around casting out demons, acting like they got all these special powers. Guys, I slay demons every fucking day. I've taught my kids how to slay demons. All of us can slay demons. We can all do it. We all have that power. You don't need some expert. Because what these experts are doing, their job is to make it seem like they're the only ones that can do their job. Like they're specially trained to do the job. Like, oh, be careful. Step back. Let me handle this. No, no. We need to stop allowing these so-called authorities. Guys, there are no authority over you. We keep accepting and allowing these cocksuckers put themselves in positions of authority over us because when we were born, we, we were put on the programs of you have to have an authority over you. So we need to get away from that fucking mindset. Um, what else? Yeah. Impure or degrading appetites or passions. You guys want to justify all the things, the pleasures that you love in this world that are taking you away from your empathy for the rest of your fellow humans who are next to you. So you'd rather sit in your house in your dark little home. You've got thousands of people and thousands of neighbors who live around you. You sit in your little home, you turn on your little TV and you live in your own little fucking bubble. You know, that's not good guys. That's not good. You need to get rid of those fucking things. You need to get rid of those things and start healing yourself. Um, and you have to become pure again. All pure is, is freedom from admixture with extraneous or superfluous matter, cleanness, freedom from foulness or dirt, freedom from guilt. Hmm? Pure is freedom from guilt. You cannot have guilt and be pure. They put guilt and shame on you. Guilt and shame is one of the most motivating factors, abusive ways that they fucking program us through guilt and shame, guys. They've known this. For years, they are toying with us. Everything you see around you, all this news that comes out, it is all scripted. Everything is scripted. All the weather change. They have everything scripted, guys. They reset humanity every 200 years or so. They're resetting humanity. They got us all ensla enslaved in the circular wheel, the Ouroboros eating its own tail, fucking just never ending consumerist fucking bullshit. So... Just know that is insanity, guys. That is complete insanity. And all we're trying to do is get back to sanity. And what is sanity? The quality or state of being sane. Healthiness of body or mind. Mentally sound. Having the regular exercise of reason and other faculties of the mind. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. And we all want sanity, guys. We all want, we all want ease, comfort, safety, respect, liberty. What is liberty? Freedom from restraint. Applicable to the body, the will, or the mind. The body is at liberty when not confined. And the will or mind is at liberty when not checked or controlled. Guys, we have no liberty. We have absolutely no freedom. We are slaves. The first step to fixing this shit is recognizing Recognizing that we are slaves in a slave system. Our parents were slaves, brought them in a slave system. Our parents were agents of the state, period. If they named, numbered, and cataloged us, they were agents of the state. If they taught us how to eat and sleep, they were agents of the state. If they allowed the state to put 
heavily toxic metals into our veins from the day we were born to the day we are 18, they are agents of the state. If they put us in state indoctrination centers from the age of five to 18, they are agents of the state. Are you getting my drift here, guys? If they, if their example to us was to work 40 hours a fucking week to fucking keep up the judges, they are an agent of the state. You have to wake up. You have to take your power back.